Hey, what's happening guys? We all like Thomas, right? I do like Thomas, so I was wondering why am I only playing Roblox, Blocks World, etc. Thomas games? Why not to play the actual Thomas and Friends games? So I thought this channel must have some proper Thomas and Friends games uh, walkthroughs. So let's play some real Thomas and Friends games. Now in order to do that guys, we have to go back in time. A little bit back in time. Yep, that's right, to 1990. That's when the very first Thomas and Friends game was released. It's called Thomas the Tank Engine and uh, Friends. Alrighty, that was the intro. <laughs> As you can see it says uh, right here 1992 so this is basically like the Commodore version but once again the actual game the same game was released in 1990 so this is uh, the rare release of the very same game so it doesn't really matter that much let's just press some buttons I guess all right Alternative Software presents Thomas the Tank Engine by Pixstar Software yep that is the Commodore version press fire to start Best drivers, all right, I see, so Thomas is the best driver, all right, let's press the fire button. So we're choosing, I guess, the Thomas the tank engine option. I've got the difficulty level normal and hard, let's go for normal, I don't think I can pull out hard. Especially, oh, so the music and sound effects, let's go with the music, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I think I better choose the sound effect. Alright, deliver the tractor to the farm. We've got a bunch of options here, like game modes or something. I don't think I can choose between any of them. Oh, I can. So, hospital, which is take medical supplies to hospital. Sounds interesting. Deliver coal to the power station. Take the mail to the next town. Uh, take the children to the seaside, deliver locks to the soft meal and take the crude oil to the re refinery. I like how Thomas uh, changes his face expressions. It's like, yeah, this one is fun. Uh, you can play this one. This one is okay. Um, I don't like this one. Please don't play this one. Please, I don't want oil refinery. Alright, I think I'll go with the children to the seaside. It looks like it sounds uh, a lot of like a lot of fun. Let's let's try this one. So I am playing as Thomas. How do I control him? That's the main issue I have. What was that? Is it the time running out or something? Where are the children by the way? I don't see anybody. I don't think I... Oh, I see now. So these are the controls, basically the arrow buttons. This is the dead end. I think by going there I somehow got 25,000 points, guys. Yeah, it's not giving me anything anymore. So I, I, where are the children? Do I have to pick them up? There is uh, Terence there. Alright, how do I switch between the tracks like that? Maybe I can't, I, I believe... Oh yes, I can, so I have to press a uh, button up. So yeah, guys, this is 1990. Hello, Bill, Ben. Back then, you know, games back then, you can see, guys, the graphics are... Well, what do, do we expect from such an old game? There were no microtransactions, no internet, like, there was internet by... But the dial-up internet type... Which some of you guys might not, not even know what it is, but... Alright, I've picked something there, I think I have to find children now. Ah! Hurry up, Thomas, the controller! So basically, when I crash into other trains, I, I, uh, I have to respawn. This is the game over. I don't even have some uh, lifelines, I don't think. This is the dead end, so I have to go up there. Do you see any children, guys? Because I certainly do not. So there is uh, Ben, I believe, going here. I have to go... Oops. Alright. I see now. Basically, probably the main purpose of this game is to not uh, crash into other trains. I'm having so many troubles actually going back. I don't know why it's 
Maybe I should... Oh, I have to hold the button, I see. Now I have to speed up because Ben is coming. Oops. Uh, ah! <laughs> no! I think that's it. No, oil can please... Oh, he's not actually going to the very dead end, so I see now. Oh, why? Oh, he changed the tracks. I believe I'm on the right path. Can I pick up this thing? Yeah, I can pick up the rail car. Now I have to be really careful because I think Ben is going uh, towards me now. Nope. We are safe. Let's just uh, head forward. Please don't tell me that children are actually packed in this rail car. There appears to be some sort of a construction on the railway. Can I? <sighs> At least I've got the checkpoint. I'm still carrying the rail car. Alright, so this path is blocked. We have to go forward now. Ah! Where did he come from, Percy? So basically, you see guys, you have to remember uh, uh, like every single part, like for example, Ben is driving here and Percy is driving there. So I have to memorize it and basically just um, anticipate it next time I will drive around this corner, for example. This is where Percy came. Let's just wait here and see if he will go down. Nope. He's really fast thought. Oh, the arrow. What does this arrow mean? The red arrow at top of my train. Does it mean like uh, it's a checkpoint or something? I see some... I mean, I'm uh, in some sort of a city. We've got a bridge here. We've got a strange looking hammer here, which just gave me 600 points. I've almost crashed into James, I believe. We've got some rocks here, but I want to pick up this thing here to actually give, uh, get some uh, points. Oh my god, really? Toby? Nowadays all the games are pretty easy, you know, we've got the tutorials, we've got to how to complete it, guides and everything. Back then, as I said, there was basically no internet, so people had to figure stuff out themselves. Hopefully... No! Yeah, at this point I'm pretty sure, guys, that I'm actually carrying children there. I thought I had to pick them up somewhere, but I think... You know, when it says children or coal or, or other stuff, it's pretty much probably just uh, the same rail car which I have to deliver. Nope. So basically, Tabby isn't uh, going down, isn't turning, he's basically going on the same track. The problem is that he's going really fast. Oh no, he is turning. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I, I expected some challenge, but this is like crazy, guys. I can imagine that some people, you know, who are in their like 30s, 40s, like your parents, my parents, maybe they played this game when it was released. And it's a, and it will, would be a truly a nostalgic feeling going back to play it or at least to watch this game. Personally, for me, nostalgic uh, feelings, you know, stuff like going back to the game you grew up with, sometimes it can be really disappointing. You remember the game as a kid, it was really awesome, you know, you had such an awesome memories and you think like, why don't I buy this game again and, tr uh, and play it and have the same emotions and same fun I did years ago. But when you actually play this game, when you get it, you think like, really? Is that the game which was so fun like 10 years ago? That's that's a little bit, you know, we are a little bit spoiled now with all the modern games and all the cool graphics. I can imagine. I'm, I, I'm, I, I, this is like my 10th attempt at this, uh, at this place. You have run out of time, Thomas. If you don't try harder next time, then your job will be given to someone else. Well, thank you very much. It's not like I tried, you know. Deliver the tractor to the farm. This is the first uh, game of the game offers to me. Perhaps it is the easiest one. Let's go with this one. Alright, we see Harold, who is about to throw hammer at me. How do I pick it up? Please! Give me this thing! I need it for points! Let's go here. Oops! James! Yes, yeah, so there's the uh, rail car. I have to go here. Now I have to go for- Ah! Now I have to go forward. Alright, now I have to go back. Can I pick this stuff up as well? No. I hope uh, that James is the only obstacle on this map. Oops, yes! James is the only one, it's Percy. You know, there is a timer in this game. Too bad I can't see it. I don't know how much time I have left. 
Did I really choose the normal mode, guys? Maybe a game somehow thought it's the hard mode, the trains are way too fast. Yep, time is running out, I know this. Please don't tell me James will crash into me now. No, thank god. Alright, now we're safe, at least for a while. I see some farmers. Thomas! Wink wink! Thank god, guys, at least I've completed one of the game modes. What about the hospital? Let's go with the hospital now. You know, for a game which is like uh, 20 years old, almost, it has plenty of game modes. And the maps are changing. Hello, Gordon, hurry up, Thomas. Alright, so, here is Gordon. One thing is certain, Gordon is pretty fast here, so we have to think fast, guys, not to crash into him. These train signs, what, what do they mean? Like, there's Percy James sign, I believe. It's way too quiet, guys. I think somebody will crash into us pretty soon. It can't be that easy. Oh, oh, so the arrow means that... Finally, I, I understand what these arrows mean. They mean that... What? So basically, the arrows mean that uh, there are trains, other engines approaching, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's like a warning sign. You see? Another arrow, no, this arrow means, oh yeah, it, you see now, he goes from the back, so arrow is the warning sign, like for example this one, Tabby, ah, where will he go now? I, I, uh, so here is, uh, yeah, here is Ben, Ben just stopped, Ben is going only up here, which means I have to stay here, <laughs> he's teasing me. Tabby will go forward now, look, and now, oh my god, it was so close, guys, he almost crashed into me, now I have no idea, oh, I see now, yep, I have to be really fast, thought, now I have to go up, not down, up, alright, I'll just wait here, because I think, yeah, Tabby is waiting there, somebody else is coming, probably, I don't even care about collecting this stuff anymore, all I want is just to go to the finish line, guys. Oh wow, James is pretty fast, I've got the bell here. Bonus stage. Wow, it's a race! Go! Go! How do I race? Oh, I have to press the space button like multiple times. So this is basically the original Go Go Thomas game. Yeah, well I didn't know that. So that's where they got the idea from. Bonus stage was up there, so I will go this way this time. Hopefully James was the last obstacle, guys. Yep. What? 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 So yeah, basically uh, I was talking so much I completely forgot to take a real car somewhere at the beginning of the game. So basically I was doomed from the very start. There was no way I've got I, I've completed this. I could have completed it. Well, let's go with the call guys, let's try this one. Check out the the background picture guys. Not too bad for a game. Oh, the time runs out. Nobody's coming. So I just wait oh here he Yeah. <laughs> I just had to wait a little bit, like one more second. It doesn't matter if I see somebody approaching, because it will be too late. These engines above James and Percy are way faster than I am. Oh my god, don't scare me like that. Toby is driving me nuts. Oh, so it's Percy. Yeah, so it's either Toby or Percy, guys. I mentioned the microtransaction, that's what bothers me a lot about the modern Thomas and Friends games, which we will play as well. Like, for example, Thomas and Friends, the magical uh, tracks for like the for phones a lot of these games are gated you have to spend real money to progress there to buy new engines or to unlock new chapters well at least the games are free to download but you can't really do much unless you pay real money for it but oh bonus stage all right this time i will make it check this out guys i'm pressing space as fast as possible I think I broke my keyboard. I came second. You lose. Thank you. When I will be playing Thomas the Magic Railroad and Thomas and Friends Minis, we will be buying everything, guys. I will complete the games completely. Every single engine. Thomas. Wink. 
Let's try the last one, guys. Which one we will go now? Take the crude oil to the refinery. Let's go with the soft meal. I don't want to go to the finish line alone without the rail car. I've already did this mistake before. All right, that's my coal or wood or whatever. I forgot. There are some pretty cool other Thomas and Friends games. I remember playing them as a kid like uh, released back in 2000 which were containing some small puzzles colors game match colors or repair games and it's basically all in one there are like 10 different games in one game it was really fun and it had some decent animations as well some decent james destroyed me. yeah yeah he's only moving on check this out like this like this like this and here we are perfectly fine now this is the right way yep easy <laughs> easy so yeah guys that's the thomas the tank engine and his friends the very very first thomas and friends game ever released and you know what i, I thought it would be worse but it's actually, you know, once you get used to controls, it can be pretty fun. Especially, you know, you can do the complete walkthrough, you can complete uh, collect all the stuff, all the points, and then there are the bonus stages, which are pretty fun as well. So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Stay tuned for other Thomas and Friends games, we will play them in the right order of their release, so it will be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, and bye-bye!